What do you do if you pass the multi-subject exam on the general curriculum, but not the math? Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy, and that's the question we're gonna answer in this video. Let's go. Yay! Well, if you pass the multi-subject, but not the math, you have to replace the math exam, the O3 exam with one of the new exams. The most likely candidate is this one right here. That is the replacement of the O3 uh, math exam, and it's called the 278, and this is a math and science. We have a general curriculum math and science, technology, and engineering subtest. This is probably the most likely replacement for the O3. You should know that this new test here has 20% more questions on it, and it's a combo of math and science. So you have about twice as much content to study. Unfortunately, that's the situation. If you pass this, but didn't pass this, you're most likely going to have to take this exam. Now, some teachers say, well, wait a second. Why don't I take the 68 or 65 or 63? It says I can take these or the 77. Well, here's the thing. The, the 68 is a harder math exam, and it has a hundred questions. So it's almost... So it's twice as long as this. It's not just 20% longer, it's 100% longer. This one right here is uh, um, twice as long and much harder. So this one's harder than that one, and this one's harder than that one. So that's just a, that's a lot to take on. If you're having difficulty with this math test, jumping into a math test that is twice as long, this one's only 20% longer, that one's twice as long. That's a lot to take on. And then this one is a harder math and science version. So it'd be much easier to pass the easier one. Team, this isn't great, but this is what you should know. If you pass this, but didn't pass the math 03, you're most likely gonna have to take the 278, okay?